told me that Brother Minister Rockman was uh, going to be honored and the building was going to be dedicated to his sacrifice and his work uh, where we are setting up a beachhead behind enemy lines. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I had to come because Rockman have always been my mentor. And not only have he been my mentor, but he have always been my friend. Um, and I thank Allah very much uh, for Brother Minister Rahman. I thank very much uh, Brother Minister Abdul Sharif for allowing me to participate and have a few words to say. And may Allah bless the believing men and the believing women in our endeavor here in this area. And may he be with us and all around us. And, and pray to Allah that we bring much peace, you know, to an area that so much deserves it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mars, your picture is up. Right. Fellowship Hall, your name. Dying Tuskegee in the restaurant, in the ballroom, your name. Come on, come on. Today we dedicate this in your name. Same. Oh, yeah. Same. 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 We have a little small cake over there for Rockman. Mm -hmm. We have a small Thank little fruit bowl. It's all for you. I ain't feeding nobody else. Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I have seen it from Brother Sharif. Now, a lot of other ministers that came to Atlanta for Sharif. But Sharif has always showed me the utmost. I mean, beyond the call of duty. Come on now. Uh, of full respect. Yes, sir. I mean, there ain't nobody got no picture in no mosque in the nation of Islam but me. That's right. That's right. That's right. And he had to put there. He had to get permission to put him there. That's right. So, I mean, he can't show me. And like he said, he got a restaurant down in Tuskegee. Dining room after me, a fellowship all in the mosque after me, doing it. You can't do no more for a man than that. Crazy. Awesome. You can't. And he always been there for me. Yeah. Anything I need, I go to him because. I asked y'all if y'all said rock money begging, but I can go to him. Come on, Jesus. 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 So I want to thank you, Shri, for your friendship. Yeah. Praise be to you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. And when I told the minister I wanted to put your picture up in the mosque back in the day, the minister said, you got quiet. I said, oh, Lord. You stepped out the Lord. <laughs> But he started, he was crying on the phone. He said, you would do that for your brother? Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, sir, Brother Milton. Yes, right That's what he did. That's what he said. I said, yes, sir. Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Everybody pictures should go up and show the work that you've done for our nation. Yes, sir. So I just want you to know from your heart, my family, any building or anything that I have anything to do with, your name, your life. Thank you, sir. You don't know that. Yes, sir. You know, the minister told me this, he said, he said, brother, he said, I don't want to so much of it. He said, for a man is getting ready to die, God bless him with the, and to make him feel better than he ever felt before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, now, y'all get me close today. <laughs> 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 so, so the minister man was telling me, he said, he was feeling real good one day. And he said to tell the angel, wait a minute, I ain't ready to go. <laughs> 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 well, I'm here to tell y'all now, I ain't ready to go. <laughs> <laughs 
But, you know, I mean, this neighborhood where Brother Minister Sharif was put in this building is so important. When Abu Elijah Muhammad first came back to Georgia, he spoke at the Magnolia Ballroom. Yeah, that was true. It's right up the street. And this, this is historic for this neighborhood. The first time he came back after he left. This used to be one of the most famous streets in the right. right. This, this, yeah. is, this is an yeah. important area. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't, you can't. And, and, and Atlanta is so important. And mm -hmm. I wanted, you know, Minister Sharif, Minister Rahman. You know, I was blessed to be here in Atlanta to hear Minister Rahman, Brother Abdullah, Troy B.I., and Lucius B.I. Those are four ministers that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad made. I, was, I heard their first lecture. All of them did their first lecture here in Atlanta when they mm -hmm. came back. They started here. Mm -hmm. and they came back and they went from there. And to see the, the four disciples of Jesus come mm -hmm. through Atlanta, mm -hmm. and they did it here. And now the work that Minister Sharif, a captain, Minister Rahman was a captain. Minister Sharif was a captain. Atlanta, this is for us, the believers. Atlanta is the highest level of education for black people in the whole world. You have more people getting educated in college in the whole world. Georgia State graduates more black people than any other school, black people in the world on a yearly basis, you know, graduate. black graduates. And no prospects, Negro. Right. And then you have AU Center with 17,000, and then you have the ITC. And it takes and you have all this intellectual power. And what has moved this nation in the first part of Atlanta was a captain. And what's moving on the second part is a captain. Because it's, the, it's, it's not by might, not by power, but by spirit, saith the Lord. And you need a warrior spirit to deal with these Negroes. Right. If you don't have that, they're not going to respond to you. I don't care how much intellect, because they're going to always say, I got more intellect. So you can't, the intellect is not the way you get them. You have to get them by the spirit and the power of the Lord. Mm -hmm. And that has to be a driving spirit in order to make educated people do what they need to do. And I'll leave it there. But this neighborhood is, like I said, the messenger came here, spoke right at the Magnolia Ballroom. Everybody, right up the street. So this, this, this is it. And I can see a lot more, but I'll keep that to myself. Time will reveal it. But everybody needs to help in this neighborhood. That's right. You know, they need to come and help That's over right. here. Yeah. A lot going on. This, this is the neighborhood that Mary Reed and the city, they're throwing the gauntlet down here. So this is going to be the neighborhood. The whole redevelopment is the Nehemiah Project. When I lived in New York, there was a preacher doing the Nehemiah Project in Brooklyn. This is the Nehemiah Project for Atlanta. So I'll leave it. Right here. Okay. Right. Well, thank you. And I'd like to say to all the leaders, uh, you all get the opportunity. You're always welcome to come. Don Bruce Farrakhan said he wanted 10,000 field associates. Yes, sir. Well, we sit at the headquarters of the South Hill. Last night was our first training class. Beautiful. So God bless us. With a nice turnout. Tonight we're going to do part two. We're establishing. Hopefully, this afternoon, I got a phone call. I just got to get on after we all leave. We're getting ready to get us a couple of patrol cars. Mm -hmm. That's great. That's going to have uh, 10,000 fillings women, I men and women on it, as well as community, community patrol. And we're going to patrol these neighborhoods. And by the grace of God, they say this is the highest crime rate in the state of Georgia. Yes, sir. The blood. Mm -hmm. Man, let's give us a few more days with the spirit of God. You're going to see the crime rate go down. Oh, yes, sir. Finance, right? Oh, definitely. All we need to donate Please. to help that. Can you say that again? We all, we all need to give right. our time and our money. Right. And, and honestly, we'll make a bigger impact here as Muslims in this neighborhood than we are on campus. That's, That's right. right. I know That's right. That. That's right. We'll make impact, big impact here. That's right. And as Minister Rockman can tell you, Atlanta. Okay. If they think I'm a scholar because of the history you told me about on. Atlanta and Islam, <laughs> people come to me. That's, that book, that TV special they did, they interviewed me because of what you told me. Mm -hmm. And I was able to, to spew it out. So this is the neighborhood. <laughs> this is the neighborhood. And so Minister Sharif, he, he needs help. And I, and I know because and as I told him, anything I can do to help him because this neighborhood, we want to see Islam rise. And when that new dome go up and you see a flag of Islam flying around, the power of that, we need to do that. What's, what's, right? Right? what's, what's, right? Right? what's happening now? 
The devil don't want to see Atlanta like it used to be. Right, mm -hmm. that's right. So they're sending all kind of agents in on us. That's yes, right. Sir. It's true. All of them are real Muslims. Mm -hmm. You got to keep your eyes and your ears open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For the crooked deceiver. Mm -hmm. We're trying to pull one over them. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And the best way to tell an enemy is he talk weak. Mm -hmm. Weak. Say that again? Doubtful. Yeah. We, 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 can't, we can't do that. Mm. That's right. So you hear that report? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Listen. Right. Yeah. And we know how y'all operate. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. And we gonna watch y'all when we find who y'all we might damn cut your head off. No, that's, right. That's, that's right. right. that's right. That's what's missing. Mm -hmm. you know, the one see it now. That's the problem I had it. You see, a huge generation here now. That's right. And we're going to get that kind of economic power back again. Oh, yes, sir. That's right. Uh, every damn human time will be there. That's, That's right. right. That's right. You hear me? Submit myself to the Minister of Foreign Affairs leadership. Now, I was mixed up with <coughs> Wallace D. Muhammad, Herbert Muhammad, John Ali, Muhammad Ali, and another brother. Now, I'm in the fight game mm -hmm. with Muhammad Ali because I gave up on Islam theory. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, because I went to, I went to Mecca with mm -hmm. ORD, and I saw in Mecca, the people really didn't respect him like I thought they should have. Because we were on the place called Ibn Delta. There you eat, you, you eat, you still have to come all day and pray all day. And some Arab Muslim woman to speak to us about organizing to help them get Jerusalem back. Mm -hmm. And that was that they were trying to use us. And so they all of them spoke with interpreters coming behind it. And then when one of us got ready to speak, they limited him to five minutes to talk to his own people. Mm -hmm. So I'm mixed up with these people now. So when I come up with art, I tell him, I call Muhammad Ali up and tell him, I said, I got to come back and work for you, man. I said, I'm getting up out of here. So that's when I left Wallace. <clears throat> and one day in Miami, um, Ali was training for the Sphinx fight. And he was talking against Parakhan, all of the, the, all that crew I'm talking about. And they say, Parakhan was a hypocrite. So I cut in, I said, hey, hey, back up, back up. Oh, yeah. I said, how can you call a man a hypocrite when he preaching what he was converted to? Mm -hmm. I said, we the hypocrites, we done left. Mm -hmm. So I shut everybody's mouth up with that statement. So now, when I see my time, when I broke from my leap, I'm ready to come back to the nation of Islam now. So when I got back in, Parker told me, he said, Rock, I don't know how you got away. <laughs> because I'm in there with all his enemies. Everybody at the neck was his enemy. They were his enemy. He said, Rock, I don't know how you got away. I said, Brother Madison, a sheep knows a shepherd's voice. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's it. That's it. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, sir. That's why I can get up under him. Praise be Because I know the shepherd's voice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise be to this brother, this brother here, and his other little uh, comrades in the school, I have a session with them. Yes, sir. On Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. And then a lady called, from that, that what I already gave them, soak in. Mm -hmm. I teach them how to stay out of trouble. Yes, sir. I teach them to stay away from drugs, mm -hmm. alcohol, mm -hmm. homosexuals. Mm -hmm. And I have a homosexual little. Uh, Approach them. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be trying to prepare them for what's in the world. Yes, sir. Thank you. And Minister Rockman, he just he shares with us like he's been where we've been. He's been through the struggle, and it's like it's it's so motivational because it's like we really got something to live for. We have to we have to. Give our elders an opportunity to rest because they've already built the way for us. And Brother Rockman is—he's—he's he's a living and spinning image of what he's been through. 
he's grown out of that and just to come up from that is like it's so beautiful because now we really got a mission we really got to keep pushing as youth we have to keep pushing That's because right. they no, already no. they've already did the hard part we just we got to do the work so I think he's been the last one for you. I would like to be. I can fly higher than an eagle. Cause Brother Rock, you are the wind beneath my wings. You are the wind beneath my wings. <coughs> You know, she goes in to meet with the people, go in the house, sit down and talk to people like we should do. And already the lady next door told her uh, Saturday, uh, Friday, next Friday, that she was uh, diagnosed with cancer. Mm -hmm. She has nine children, but uh, they gonna, she's going to live in a uh, senior senior's home, and she's giving the house Give to her for us. Give it. Give it. But she said she had a vision that we would take care and do what needed to be done. By the neighborhood, the muscles all need to be housed. We just take the neighborhood. That's what we need to do. No, really. Buy a barrier. Allah is showing you you're making the right move by being here. Yes, sir. That's right. That's right. Confirmation. Somewhere else you never got it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, I think I'll just say to the Muslims. I wish you all would listen to Brother Rahman, y'all say and listen to him. Well, he's been watching me for a long time. Yes, sir. And he's asking you all just to come and support. Yes, yes sir. sir. I have not asked none of you all to do anything against your religion. That's right. right. Come on, no. so why won't you come on and support me? The right. minister stands me up and says, right. I'm one of his best. That's right. Right. No, yes. 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 You know? Yes. Why won't y'all come? Because we can take this city That's right. in unity. That's right. That's right. And I'm saying the EMUI. I haven't forgotten about you. We're working on something. I just, you know, I'm just, oh, I can't have, wait. We will have everything we need. Oh, okay. that's right. And we got the, the Muslims to support. Mm -hmm. That's we right. We will have the grocery store. That's right. That's right. Restaurant. That's right. 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 Barbershop. That's right. Right. Clean. Shoe shop. Mm -hmm. Right. Dry cleaner. Gas station. Mm -hmm. We will have all that. Can we just, Get the down tunnels as well. Right. That's, right. That's right. Yes. Tell right. it. And get the ones who and we can't do this. Please. Mm -hmm. The point I'm quit. Right. <laughs> 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 yes. On that note, you remind me of this general orders here, I believe. That's right. It's That's right. It's been in my pocket over my wallet over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And they remind me to pull it out and just listen to them. That's why I always yeah. stay at my knee, bow down to them, listen. I come into the market. Yes, sir. The general order. Oh, we, we, can't, we can't have no Tom Thomas' spirit. That's right. So they're hindering. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. We need everything I just said. That's, That's right. right. That's yes, sir. We need a hospital. Yes, sir. Yes, right. Right. Huh? You're tired of these men using us for guinea pigs? Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. I know that's right. right. This is a, a happy birthday celebration for Brother Rockman, the Rock of the South. That's from all the sisters. Oh, uh -huh. here goes some more. Yeah. Look at that. All the kids. Oh, look, at oh, look at that. The kids just keep on coming. That's how much we love you. The kids just keep on coming. Oh, yeah. You're the God of life. And the sisters want to let you know how much we love you. That's right. This is a sign of your service and your sacrifice. We appreciate you. We thank a lot for you. We love you. Money. Money is in all of us. Money, money, money.
That you helped to lay. That's right. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And gifts are still coming in. Look at that. But this is the best gift you want. I didn't mean to stop the roll. Look at that. 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 Look at We want to take a group picture. Okay, come on back behind. This is our last card. Take a group picture. Be in this historic picture, please. I'm trying to have my little one. I love you, Samuel X. Saxon as investigating minister of all local temples of Islam in North America. Oh, you have a right to teach in your temple if he sees fit. You have a right to observe in your labor. That's money. Labor means money. Huh? In other words, he can take over if he sees fit. No minister will hold his post in these awakening times if he's not making progress. Sign Elijah Muhammad, Messenger of Allah. Woo! 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 Eighty-seven. What year did he write it? Nineteen sixty-eight. Oh. Nineteen sixty-eight. Oh. Some of us wasn't born. I have that. Oh. I was a baby. I was a baby too. <laughs> I was a baby. Stop telling that. That was fifty years ago. Okay, we're gonna take a picture over here. Fifty years ago. Okay. Everybody, yeah. look up. We got a bird's eye view. All praise is due to Allah. All praise is due to Allah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Get in the picture, Sister Angel. Come on, little sister. All praise is due to Allah. All praise is due to Allah. He said all three. The black woman is fast. One, two, three. Oh, okay. 
praise is due to Allah. The dinner is tomorrow. The Spice House. We're gonna send it out. I don't know the address. We're gonna send it out. The Spice House tomorrow. Bring more gifts. Listen. Listen. Okay. Listen. around with me a long time. That's right. She was with me on Bankhead. We're down. On First Atlanta started on Edgewood Avenue. And, I was uh, on Bankhead when you came. And you was on Bankhead when I came. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I started out in 1960 mm. with Minister yeah. Jeremiah Shabazz. Yes, did. Wow. She he put a, Atlanta on the map she been a with a Shabazz she been a grocery a, and a restaurant. Mm. Yep. Oh, dear. Yeah, this is a beautiful picture here. I hope y'all get this yeah. into a lot. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. You know, you're trying to write it with dinner that way. What? See, this song came to Atlanta in 1955. Right. That's what I said. 55. I know where he came from. I know where he came from. Sister Jenny's husband. See, the first minister we had. Brother James. Jenny, you walk out. You know about it. You know that. Brother Minister, I want you to meet our newest exes. We have our beautiful sister. Share with your name, and this is his, her daughter. Sister Safiya Muhammad. Aziza Muhammad. Aziza Muhammad. Aliyah Muhammad. And, yes. and they all got at the same time they received their ex. Just what? Two weeks ago was that a blessing? Last, 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 week. last week. Last week. Last week. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Allahu Akbar. Right now, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So he wanted to meet you. I was just outside talking to the little young people. I said, the greatest thing in Islam is giving. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, that, that puzzle people when you say that. Mm -hmm. I said, now, did you read the Quran? And I said, if you count his favors, you, you cannot number them. Mm -hmm. Now, you think about it. your uh, anatomy, he gave that to you. Mm -hmm. The air we breathe, he gives that to us. That's right. The food that we get, the vegetation, the fruits of the earth, he gave that to us. He don't charge you nothing, that's a cocker charge, and then he grows it down there. But God grows it himself for you. That's right. Everything you see, the trees, the cows, all that God gives to give us right. mm -hmm. without number, you can't count it. Mm -hmm. that's right. uh, and that's a giver. That's right. Now, if you and me mm -hmm. take a heed from him, and, one, and that's for. That's part of his trait, that's like one of his attributes. Yes. And we take up one of them attributes like yes, that, giving like he gives. Yes, sir. I mean, hey, we don't give food, it's we give to that's what's right. needed. That's right, yes. Huh? And uh, same blessings uh, uh, he received by being ever living, you have a long life yourself. Yeah. And when you have that kind of heart. Mm. So stay tough, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. That's the word. Love y'all. Love y'all. We love, love, love you more. Mom. May Allah bless yeah. you in many, many more. Oh, praise yeah. God. We don't want you to lose one bag. So Not right. one. Thank you, Sister Teresa. That was great. Okay, well, there you go. We don't want nothing falling. Don't lose no I know that. Yeah. Right. Any more bags? All the bags. Everybody. All right. The gifts from the MGT. That's real sick. Muhammad's Mosque. Who you getting that bag to? Me too, Allah. Wally. Wally. It's a weekend as a Wally. And we'll be yeah. recognizing yeah. his birth. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Allah yeah. for the womb yeah. that brought him into yeah. this earth. Yeah. Where well, is Joey? Slowly, you know when Joey went. Who yeah. brought him into the earth so that he could Tell make this great, great, in great here, contribution to our great nation. She was his captain. It was 82. 82. 87 years old. His actual birthday is October 1st. If you want to send a gift to, the, um, to Brother Abdul Rahman, I will be sending it. I'll make sure I get you that information. Yes. We'll make sure. I'm going to make sure you get that information. Beautiful. Okay. 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 Ok
Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 I gotta see who I got the number. So if Doris takes this on, I'm getting up here. So Doris, when I see you, my number is oh, your pictures. Don't worry, while well, he got it. Okay. Okay, you got everybody? Okay, let me get the pictures away. What y'all for? So to send a gift to Brother Rockman, you can send it to a son of a rock of a nation. And the number is 404. 668. 668 7201. 7201. That's 404 668 7201. If you want to bless our dear brother, Brother Abdul Rahman Muhammad, the Rock of the South, he turns 87 on October 1st, which is this Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in. Wait, say something like Hey, looking at you. <laughs> you are, you are you candy camera. Yeah, she put you on the TV. Yeah, she put so you now, on the TV. Now, now you gotta go That's back it. to the, you gotta go back to the beginning so you can hear the wisdom that he gave. So, uh, Brother Rockman, you were telling us that in 1955, right? That's when the mosque was established here in Atlanta, Georgia, right? Okay, praise be to Allah. Who was the minister then? A brother named James. Brother James. He came out of Boston. Okay. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad sent him to start the teachings of Islam. Uh -huh. Now, he did great, but he made a mistake. Right after his, okay. Maybe he's Yes. And uh, when he made the mistake, he ran out on the Muslims and left him there without a leadership. Okay. That was his big crime. And, uh, then after that, Minister Jeremiah came. To okay. Him. That's Jeremiah Shabazz. Shabazz. Yeah. Okay. He did good works too. Okay. And then came a uh, brother named Leroy. He was just in for a little while. Mm -hmm. and that's then after, after Leroy came, uh, was it Hewlett Shaw? Hewlett Shaw. Mm -hmm. And after Hewlett Shaw came John Shabazz. Mm -hmm. Okay. And after John Shabazz came me. Okay. And now, uh, so you came in 1969. 69. Okay. Praise be to Allah. But you know what? One, a brother who accepted this one with me, mm -hmm. he was in the ranks and he said, and I left went to California. Mm -hmm. He said, one day you're going to come back here and be a minister. Oh, wow. I thought he was just talking in the wind. Mm -hmm. so I, was, I hadn't even cleaned up. Right. Well, so what happened, happened like, just like he said. And guess what? What's that? Well, I came back and he never came to the meeting. Wow. He kind of went astray. Uh-huh. But he never, he claimed to be a Muslim, but he never came to one meeting. Wow. His family did, his wife and his children did, but he didn't never meet one meeting. You remember Leroy, don't you? Yeah, uh, who? Yeah, you remember Leroy? Leroy that the messenger sent here for no, our no, minister? No, not, 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 This is Sister Remember Annie Sister Muhammad. Sister she came in in 1960, so you know who you're looking at. Uh, uh, Lee. Oh, I know who you're talking about. The skinny, this small yes, right, hero. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but that, that thing is too peculiar thing. The hardest thing I ever had to do in Islam was a brother killed his wife, killed his son, and I had to bury those two her name was Sister Annie, too. Oh, really? Yes. Everybody thought we looked right. Another thing oh, I had wow. to, another terrible thing I had to do, I had to let one sister go who was teaching our school, and one of the students told on her behavior. Mm -hmm. And when I called her in, I said, well, the truth, she said, yes, sir, brother, man. I said, well, I said, sister, you know what I got to do. She said, I understand. So her husband was driving a tractor trailer truck for us. And he was on a long trip. And while he was gone, and after she had to face this charge, she committed suicide. Wow. And now he, I gotta tell her husband, she done kill herself by the time he get back. Those were hard things for me to do. Tell wow. her wife done killed herself. Wow. And, and, and don't want to tell him why. Mm -hmm. 
because it, you know the crime she was she was facing was, was heavy. Yes, sir. And she didn't want to face it. Yes, sir. But she was a beautiful person that you ever want to see personality. Mm -hmm. I wasn't made to hurt so much. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then I learned then. I want all y'all to really hear this one. Pass it on. We as Muslims don't stand by the grave of anybody killing themselves. Right. You commit suicide, don't go by your grave. Because the greatest life all I can do is give you life. Mm -hmm. And you're going to take what he gives you. Mm -hmm. I think you don't deserve for me, a believer, to come by you. Yes, oh, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. Now, I, didn't, I wouldn't have known none of these things, these old things I hadn't went through these things. Right. Because the messages don't get up and teach. You don't stand beside anybody. He told me that after this happened. Praise be to Allah. And this, yes. and this is this is the, the month that's recognized as Suicide Awareness Month. It is. It is wow. um, in, in this country. And and so, you know, for those of you who are watching, there is never anything that requires you to take your own life. You can always go and talk to someone, find someone inbox someone you know reach out to someone i was oh i was saying for the whole month to my students give someone a hug let them know that you love them let them know that you care listen so that you don't have to um, leave someone feeling like they need to take their own life there's nothing you can do that deserves that allah is the author of life and he is the one to take it away that's right all right sister Okay, and the celebrations will continue this weekend, so come out to Muhammad's Mosque number 15 if you're in Atlanta tomorrow for Sunday's mosque meeting at 11, and then after the mosque meeting, we will continue recognizing the rock of the sun. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. And I'll continue to bless right, you all. Yeah, I see no. like, um, let, me, let me open it up. And then I'm not going to play Michael. They might be done. They didn't want me to talk about Michael. So, so what, what, what did you say? I told him how he planned to break with Dr. Elijah Muhammad. And uh, he wanted to use Muhammad Ali as a big fish in order for him to get started in his movement. Okay. So the now, things he's done make me know that. Because when he came, we, we brought him down to Miami. You know, Muhammad Ali and myself, and when he got set down for some speaking, we brought him down to let him cool out. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, you know, he was still in good standing at the time. But he brought. But he just couldn't. He he was in good standing, but he just could not speak. That, that's all. Yeah, because right, right. he still right. was the minister over the mosque in number seven. Right. But so we sent for him to come down and you know give him a little vacation, we may say. And while he was there. Uh, we, we would play his tapes, uh, his lectures to Muhammad Ali and myself and all everybody else who was in the house. And I, I, I had the conclusion of, I came to the thing saying, I love poor Malcolm, he, he want to speak so bad he had to listen to himself teach. <laughs> that was my diagnosis of him. But then, he asked me one day, he said, I go over to the gym when I heard Brother Cassius. So I told him, I said, hell yeah, man, everybody know you. So Ali was, Cassius Clay was keeping it on the cover that he was oh, following I, Islam. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's so, before, before. Yeah, this is long before we got yeah, popular. You know, yeah. This is in 63, you know. And, uh, 
told me that, but when I got to the gym, he was already over there, and I told him not to go. He shouldn't go. I could even, and uh, he was taking it. So then it came out, and Malcolm was there, and tutored in our lead into the black Muslim shit. So they threatened to cancel the fight because our lead was fooling around with Malcolm X. And, uh, and, uh, and then our lead win the fight. You know, bring his story closer. He win the fight. And then we was in the lobby. I saw Malcolm making his way All right. through the crowd so he could get up to Ali to get his picture taken with Ali. So I looked at that because I was standing up on the ledge making sure he was secured, you know. That's because I'm a security minded person. I didn't get in the thick right next to Ali because you can't hold security right up on top of a man. So I was back looking. So Savior Day come the next day. The very next day, Savior's Day. So me and Ali's brother get on the plane, come to Chicago. Save the day after Save the day was over. How you doing? You all right? Yeah, I need to speak speak to you though. Okay, we're going to dinner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to speak to you too. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. After Save the day was over, Yusuf Shah, who's Malcolm's captain, Malcolm had made a move on him, but I didn't know it at that time. To follow him to start a new movement. So Yusuf Shah told me, said, Malcolm, get ready to break with Donald mm -hmm. Elijah Muhammad. And uh, he tried to get cash to play to, to be one of his followers. He told me, he said, get him out of your city, because you know, we didn't play in those days. He right. was doing wrong, he had to go. Right, right. So when I went back to Miami, uh, he was gone. Uh, Ali was preparing to go to Africa. And the messenger gave him the name Muhammad Ali. Okay. At this time, okay. At that very time. I, I, I thought about how Allah arranged all of this. I was here, a lieutenant here in Chicago. <laughs> and I love Chicago. I was honorable Elijah Muhammad's security man. I went everywhere he went. California, my first jet flight was with him going to Los Angeles, 1960. And one day he came out to the mosque one night and spoke. He said, I got good labors here. He said, but I need your help. I want y'all to get go out and help me. At that moment, boom, you got to leave your car. So I had never had no intentions of leaving Chicago. But the brothers from L.A., where I got registered at, they had came through here, Savior Day of 61, promised me this and promised me that, come on out, blah, blah, blah. So I had to leave, and I was going back out there. But when I got to Miami, I saw the, uh, the well, I might just say it like it is, the raggedy place we was meeting in. <laughs> And it had a hole over the back of the brother when he was speaking. And he, they didn't have enough knowledge at that time to put a curtain over the wall. So I sat there and I said, if I left this, Allah wouldn't forgive me. Then the honorable Elijah Muhammad found out I was down there and he told the minister, make him your captain. So that's how I became a captain through his orders. So now one day, I didn't have but a few brothers, so I'm the captain, but, but I ain't got no army. So now I got to make my own army. So I hit to the streets. And so I'm selling papers. I'm, and so I was on the streets of Miami, 6th Street, 2nd Avenue, by the Mary Elizabeth Hotel, a black hotel. And he saw me. Hey, brother, why are we called Negroes? Why are we blind, deaf, and dumb? Why is everybody making progress and we lagging so far behind? This was a song that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan had put out called White Man Heaven, Black Man's Hell. 
So I, fi- I fired back at him. I said, hey, man, you hip to the teachings, aren't you? He said, yeah, I'm Cassius Clay. I'm going to be the next heavyweight champion of the world. So he said, you want to check my scrapbook out? Come down to my room. I went around his room, showed me a clipping where he had shook up uh, Ingemar Johansson, who was the heavyweight champion at that time. He was in Miami for a rematch with Floyd Patterson, who he had taken the title from. But Ali beat him up on spine session. So they said, this brash kid from Louisville is about to mess up a $4 million gate. And when I read that, I looked up at him, seen him doing his thing. I, was, I said, if I look out for this boy, he would be champ. So, <laughs> so from that day on, huh, I was teaching him Islam. Teaching him Islam. Teaching him Islam. And he was living in a rooming house. A room, I should say. Uh, they had him there, and he was making money for white folks. I said, man, they got you right here like this. I said, make them get you a hotel room under the Carver Hotel. So they got him a room in the Carver Hotel. You know, where he could eat, good dining room, which was a leading black hotel in Miami. And after that went on, he beat, he went out to the West Coast, beat Archimo. And when he got back from beating Archimo, I said, make them get you a house. Uh, these are the big white men that owned him at that time. I said, make him get you a house. And when they got him, they, he got, every time he asked for something, they gave it to him. But see, he didn't know how to live. So I'm telling him, teaching him the ropes and telling him how it go. So they got in the house. I put two Muslim sisters in there to make that bean soup every day. I put another one in there to keep the house clean. So now I got three Muslims on payroll. Now I ain't talking about no donation, payroll. (laughs) That white folks was paying for. Okay, so that went on. Now, leading right up to the time he was getting ready to fight Sonny Liston, Malcolm had made a statement in New York about the chickens coming home to roost. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad took him out of speaking engagement for 90 days. Didn't take his ministry from him, just took him out off the, off the scene for 90 days. So at that time, me and Ali and a boy named Osman Kareem. <laughs> we said, let's send for Malcolm so Malcolm can come down here and cool out. Like a little vacation. So Malcolm came down, and after he got down, he asked me, <laughs> you know, the sister was cooking for him, making sure he eat right and everything. So he asked me, he said, if I go over to the gym, would I hurt Brother Cassius? I said, heck yeah, man, everybody know you. Because in those days, we had to, we didn't, we didn't expose Ali to the public that he was practicing Islam because he didn't want nobody to know it either. So when Malcolm, when I told him that, he didn't listen to me. He went in a way. When I got to the gym with Ali, he was there taking pictures. So the, the news come out, boom. Malcolm X is in Miami recruiting Cassius Clay to Islam. And I had the man in Islam over two or three years uh, before Malcolm ever met the man. <laughs> <laughs>